Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Meredith E. Phillips. I'm a writer, reader, and bunny mama. And today I wanted to share with you my plans for April Camp Nano 2021. If you missed it, I did post a video two weeks ago on Camp NaNoWriMo, what it is, who can participate, how you can participate, and all the details about it. So if you haven't watched that yet and you're a little confused about what exactly Camp Nano is, definitely go check that out. So for Camp Nano, you have the option to choose your own goal for yourself for the month and typically people choose either a word count goal, a page goal, or a time goal. I'm going to choose a time goal for myself this month and I am going to basically just expand what I have already been trying to do over the past couple months. So my current writing goal for myself on a regular basis is to write for an hour a day on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And so what I'm going to do for camp is I'm going to add to this by writing for an extra half hour on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. So I will be trying to write every single day during the month of April and basically bumping my time that I'm dedicating to writing up by an hour and a half each week. So in total I'm going to be trying to write for five and a half hours a week which ends up being about 23 and a half hours for the entire month. Now that might not sound like a lot to you or maybe that sounds like way too much but I'm hoping I can hit that goal. I don't know if I'm going to be successful or not. Uh, we'll get into that in a second, but that is what I'm going to be aiming for starting April 1st. I do have a strategy to try to achieve this, and that's going to be to try to get this writing time done before dinner. Now, we do kind of have dinner at different times on different days, uh, depending on my husband's work schedule, but typically dinner for us is between 6 and 7, 7.30, something like that at night. So I want to be done with this writing before it's time to start fixing dinner, if I I'm the one fixing it for the day. The other thing I'm going to try to do is remove temptation from myself. That includes putting away my phone. I'm going to see about like literally leaving it in the living room or something while I'm trying to do my writing work because of course it's just right there and I can just like open Instagram real fast and see if anyone's posted anything in the last like five minutes. You know I need to know it like immediately as soon as they post. Yeah, it, it, I think it'll be helpful if I remove that completely from at least my line of vision, but I think, I think it'll probably be even better if I put it like outside of my office in the living room or somewhere else. The other thing I'm considering doing is turning off the internet on my computer here. This one's a little more, uh, I don't know if that's really going to help because of course you can just turn it back on. <laughs> and there are some things where I am going to need to go online to research something. So if I'm doing something purposeful with the internet, not just messing around and procrastinating, totally fair game to use it of course, but I'm going to try really hard to leave the browser closed, to turn off the internet and not touch it for an hour. <music> The other thing I'm going to do is write down the exact starting time and ending time for each day. And if I do need some sort of little five minute stand up and walk around a little bit kind of break, I'm going to note that. I want to be really purposeful with my time and I want to keep track of exactly how much time I'm putting in toward these projects. The last thing that I have considered doing, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. I'm still kind of waffling back and forth on it, but I have thought too that one of the things that for me personally is helpful is number one, making videos like this where I'm saying like, here is the goal, here's what I'm gonna try to do, because then there's a little bit of accountability, because obviously at the end of April, I'm gonna have to come back and say what I was able to get done and kind of give you my stats, I guess. And that kind of accountability is motivating for me. And for me at the moment, it's a healthy kind of pressure to put on myself. I do think that that kind of pressure can absolutely get to an unhealthy point. I am not anywhere near that kind of unhealthy point for me. So posting about my really specific goals and then updating you on how I'm doing in achieving those goals is helpful for me and motivating. So the other thing I'm kind of considering adding in is to update on a daily basis over on Instagram stories. I don't typically post a whole lot on the stories feature of Instagram. If I do, it's usually bunny content. <laughs> I'm thinking I might do almost like a short kind of vlogging sort of thing 
thing I don't know I, it, we'll see how it ends up but I'm thinking I might just go on stories say hey it's 405 and I'm gonna be starting my writing for the day you know I'll check in with you later and then kind of check in afterwards to say what I was able to get done something like that I don't know We'll, we'll see we'll see so those are my plans in terms of the goals and in terms of how I'm planning to achieve the goal I considered also okay do you want to have like a reward for yourself <sighs> I don't really want to, I, I don't know, there's nothing I really want that I'm not going to get for myself if I don't win. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have anything in mind that I think would be particularly motivating for me in that regard. I am going to put a rule in place for myself though, and that is uh, no Zelda until I'm done with the writing unless I'm having a really hard day and I need Zelda. But you know, other than that, like that's, that's gonna be one of the rules I have for myself. <laughs> okay, so then the question you might have is, well, where are you currently in your work? What exactly are you gonna be working on during those hours? I'm not currently drafting, so I can't really say, oh, I hope to be at 50,000 words or 80,000 words or something like that. That's not really the point of what I'm trying to do right now. I am in revisions for my first draft. If you've watched any of my vlogs over the last couple months, that'll give you a good idea of where I am in the process. I'll link a playlist of those vlogs if you're interested in checking those out down in the description. But you might remember this little segment from my March goals video. I am not sure how long these kinds of revisions are going to take me, so I want to use March as sort of a benchmark month in terms of seeing how long this kind of stuff is going to actually take to go through. So yeah, I had wanted to use March as a sort of benchmark so that I would be able to best figure out where I might be at the end of the month and then what kind of goal I could set for myself for April. However, if you've been following me over on Instagram or you saw last Friday's video, you will know that unexpected and upsetting events happened and at this point filming this I'm filming this on March 20th by the way as of today I haven't done any writing since March 7th so this month has really not worked out the way I thought it was going to or that I wanted it to and of course none of that is anything I could have predicted or been working around necessarily currently I am still needing to go through those scene summaries that I was talking about in last week's video again I'll link all of this below if you're interested I'm still working on those at the moment I'm hoping I can get some work on that done this weekend and through the end of March we'll see how far I can get with those but I'm planning to finish those up and then move on to bigger plot problems so I'm hoping that by the end of April I will have a plan in place for how I want to fill in plot holes, how I want to fix structural issues within scenes or within the plot or the story at large, and hopefully start working on implementing those changes. I'm really not sure how far I'm going to get. I'm not sure what is realistic to expect from myself. So I really am just making this a time goal. I'm not concerned about what part of the process I will have gotten to by the end of April. I just want to work on it steadily each day for the amount of time that I have set for myself. At the end of April, I want to feel more accomplished than I do currently. And I think that's a really healthy goal to set for myself at this point. So let's go ahead and head over to the NaNoWriMo website and actually set up the project and the goal for this camp session. Okay, so I'm here at the NaNoWriMo website. I'll do a little screen capture so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and come down here to my original NaNoWriMo project from last November, Project Model Rom-Com. You can either come up here and create a brand new camp project, like a completely new story and everything, or if you're continuing to work on a previous story, you can come down to this section and create a new goal within that project, which I think is a kind of cool new feature. So I'm going to create a new goal here. Okay, so my goal name, I guess, is going to be, um, I don't know, Project Model Rom-Com Revision. Uh, what type of goal is this? It's an editing goal. Now, this is kind of what I talked about also in that previous video. My goal is not words, but I'm going to pretend this is saying minutes. <laughs> so 23 and a half 
hours for the month is 1410 minutes. We're gonna pretend it says minutes. And then I'm gonna start on the first and end on the 30th. Okay, so then I'm going to save the goal. And now you can see this is updated so that this is the one that I'm going to be working on here. If you go into the project details, you can see here's the progress I did during NaNoWriMo 2020. And here is going to be the camp progress that I made. All right, so I'm all set up and ready to go for this type of project or this type of goal there isn't really a whole lot of prep work I need to do. If you're starting a new story or something like that, then you probably have a lot more prep you're doing um, with outlines and character sketches and all that kind of thing. I'm really just kind of continuing what I have already been working on. I'm going to try to sort of bump up my level of productivity during the month, but that's really, that's really going to be it for me. I'm trying to make this just fun and not overexert myself. Let me know in the comments, are you participating in the camp this April? If so, what kind of goal are you going to make for yourself? It starts in two days when this video goes live. It starts in two days, so get your goal ready. <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you going to be working toward a word count goal, time goal? What, it, what, what sounds good to you? Are you going to do something? I know there's some people who do like a poem a day or a flash fiction a day or a story, short story kind of a week, something like that. If you're doing something even more different than just a word count or a time goal, let me know that too. I think that's really interesting when people really think outside the box and do something very different like that. So let me know what you are aiming for. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, so go ahead and click the subscribe button and those will pop up in your subscription box. You can also find me over on Instagram at Meredith Phillips Writes. The link for that is in the description and you can go to my website MeredithEPhillips.com to sign up for my newsletter. The next edition of that is going out in probably the next two weeks. Early April is the goal currently. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!